Diabetes is fast becoming the epidemic of the 21st century. Changed diets and non-active lifestyles, together with rapid urbanization, have caused a dramatic rise in obesity and diabetes, which is actually not one but several diseases that affects people in many different ways. Uh, my everyday life is affected by the fact that I have to do a lot of planning every day uh, because I don't want to get low when I am with my children, when I'm at work and uh, I have to plan my activities, I have to plan my food, uh, what to have for lunch, what, when will I do some physical exercise. Uh, so it's a very lot of planning and uh, to be prepared all the time. In Sweden, the government helped create Exodiab, Excellence of Diabetes Research in Sweden. It's a strategic joint research initiative where about 300 researchers work within many different fields in Lund, Malmö and Uppsala. The vision is groundbreaking research, personalized treatments and a cure for diabetes. Diabetes is such a multifaceted and complex disease, so there are so many different vi visions. But on the other hand, um, what we could say, what unites all the efforts, is that we want to develop ways of treatment that are personalized, that are for the individual, not only uh, using the one-size-fits-all type of thinking. So we want to develop uh, individualized medicine and to make diabetes therapy better. In Exodiab, Lund and Uppsala universities joined forces. A strategic research grant from the government supports the world-leading research. When we act together, we, are, we do not only add uh, knowledge and competence, but it actually is a synergistic thing. So together we make it to, into another league and uh, we can do things we could not dream about before. Type 1 and Type 2 are the most well-known diseases but there are also gestational diabetes, LADA, and several variants of Moody. The major goal to find the causes and effective treatments for diabetes is divided into important sub-targets for different research groups. My short-term goals uh, is to uh, get a further understanding of the mechanism why people get type 1 diabetes. Uh, we have uh, access to unique human material and we are currently working on that in a collaborative effort within the Nordic countries and also with other colleagues internationally. And this is a wonderful time of research and we gain so much uh, new knowledge in this area. I mean it's clearly, I mean, we want to see the whole, to understand the whole picture of the genomic variation contributing type 2 diabetes. I think we can do it. We're probably one of the largest diabetes research centers in the world. We have a network of collaborators that really represent, I mean, the best knowledge. So, I know it's an ambitious goal, but I think it, we should have it, and the best case scenario, we can achieve it. Exodiab has access to some of the best and large biobanks in the world, which can serve all researchers and shorten the startup time for younger researchers. Exodiab stands on three legs. Research is very important and we have to do world-leading science. But we also have an important obligation to improve the innovation system and to make our research findings into reality, something that is useful for society and the patients. So innovation is the second leg. We also have an obligation to do something about education. We should make a difference in terms of better higher education at the university level, both for undergraduate students but also later on. In Exodiab there's a strong focus on junior researchers. They can get a financial support as well as a distinguished researcher as a mentor. The academic uh, environment makes for uh, a number of excellent leading, world leading research groups and of course the money that was injected into diabetes research from the state was a, a very important uh, factor here. Excellency creates excellency. That's what happens here, I'm sure. A big hurdle in diabetes research has always been the difficulty of getting access to the key organ, the pancreas. The Human Tissue Lab in Uppsala has to a large extent solved this problem 
and provides human islets to the researchers within Exodiab, in Lund, Malmö and Uppsala. The Human Tissue Lab serve as a center in the Nordic network. They receive pancreas from Sweden, Norway and Finland. Uh, in this way we can perhaps solve the mysteries associated with diabetes and other sicknesses uh, using human tissue, which uh, is quite unique because uh, most models looking at type 1 diabetes and other uh, such diseases have used the mouse model and perhaps the rat model, uh, which aren't necessarily relevant in all cases. When a pancreas is delivered to Uppsala, the coordinator at Lund University is immediately notified and sends out the question to the researchers, who needs human islets for experiments tomorrow? Next day, the islets arrive by plane and are distributed to the different scientists. Human diabetic islets are very valuable because they are the real thing. Uh, the, uh, what happens in these islets are the mechanism that we need to discover to be able to find the causes of diabetes uh, and to be able to develop new treatments. So we try to find these mechanisms by characterizing these islets and comparing them with healthy islets. My dream is that diabetes will be history, that we uh, no longer will have any diabetes in the world, uh, to find a cure, but also uh, first to find uh, um, some ways to stop the development, to, to know what is actually causing diabetes, both type, type 1 and type 2.